Okay, great. We know from the previous video how to use binary to represent colors, images, and video. But what about just the stuff on my keyboard? Or my emojis? First, let me tell you about ASCII. ASCII stands for American Standard Code for Information Interchange. It's used for different symbols, numbers, and alphabets, and is written in 8 bits, so in total it can have 256 characters. But what if we want to write in another language? ASCII doesn't have these characters. That's where Unicode comes in. Unicode encoding schemes are used to represent these special characters like different languages and emojis in bits. One scheme of a fixed length is the UTF-32, in which each character is converted into a 32-bit binary number. Other schemes that are of variable length instead are the UTF-8 and UTF-16. The UTF-32 method, however, isn't popular as it takes up more space and you can't have any other number of bits except for 32. So, most of us use UTF-8 or UTF-16. For UTF-8, each character is converted into an 8, 16, 24 or 32-bit binary number. If the binary number does not have any of these exact number of bits, we follow this guide to get it to 8, 16, 24 or 32-bits. The X is replaced by either the binary number or zeros if there is still extra room. You can imagine this as sort of half of a pyramid. As you go down, add a 10 and the X is to the back. For the first byte, remove an X and add a 1 to the front. The only exception to this is from 7 bits or less to 11 bits or less. For UCF16, it is a bit simpler. Each character is converted into a 16 or 32 bit binary number. And that brings us to the end. Wasn't it fun? Now, time for a new challenge. Write down in the comments what the binary, hex, and ASCII representations for the number 91 are. Let's see who can come up with all three the fastest.